What's happening, Sneaker Fam? Jake back on this early Saturday morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. With a real fake review, man. I was supposed to have done this video last night, but I got caught up in this basketball game. My squad lost. So, man, after all these years of watching sports, man, I still get caught up in it and, like, upset. Shutting everything down. Going to sleep. No ESPN. Nothing, man. So, hey, that's, that's what happens when you're a fan, man. So, Miami Heat lost against Boston last night. So it's a 3-2 series, man, and it looked like Boston got some life again. So I'm not liking what I'm seeing. So, <clears throat> yeah, FedEx delivered these yesterday, um, a day late, actually, because usually UPS would deliver on, um, on Thursdays in my area. But, of course, my friend got these for me off the sneakers app, and he lives in a different area, so FedEx delivers in his area. So they're a little later, a day later um, than normal. So let's get on with it. You already know what it is. You see that symbol right there, an emblem, fragments. All the hype is gone and dead with this shoe for now. Uh, people that didn't know about fragments and stuff like that just got all caught up in the hype. Resellers going crazy with all the hype and all that stuff. And the shoe dropped price significantly the, the, the price of the shoe dropped significantly so here it is no receipt anymore i don't know what nike's doing these days with receipts but this is a nine and a half this is my personal size 12 i could not get my size which hurt my feelings but i did get an, a size 11 from my nephew so and that should be here real soon that he caught from off the sneakers app so just trying to get something closer to my size. This is now considered trade bait or sell bait or hold bait till maybe next year. Uh, since the price dropped, this was going for like nine hundred, almost a thousand dollars, and then it dropped to like six. So, all right, let's get started with this. Of course, you can see the difference with the boxes, the box quality, and all of that. The colors. I hope I don't get any static with this mic I'm using. If it is, I'm sorry. Box quality. You can see a huge difference in box quality. Get a good closer look at it. I have to bring my light over again. This thing turns. Yes, that turns. Legit pair. No. Let's look at this. Right. And it has the, it's there. You guys take a look at the font. Take a look at the, everything there. Retro SP. All right, let's get on with it. No stickers, no nothing. Box quality is terrible. This, uh, take a look at the paper. Got the Jordan Fragment collab. This is a more thicker, waxier paper. That one's more of a see-through. You can tell from there. All right. Let's pull out this legit pair. And I don't know what's all the hate on this shoe now. <laughs> you got everyone seen this shoe from day one. And now they're mad once they get the shoe. You've seen the shoe. You've seen all, all kind of pictures of the photos of this thing. And all of a sudden, you get the shoe. And it's like, it's a black and white shoe. I don't get it. I don't get it. I like the shoe. I, I, I liked it from the beginning. And I, and I like it now. I like the collaboration. Of course, it's not the three, like the those prototype threes or friends and family threes that he had. And... And definitely not the ones, but how many times are you going to get a Fragment collaboration? I was dying to get a Fragment in my hands from day one, once I started collecting again. And I like it. It's a well-crafted shoe. Look at that jump man. Yeah, silver jump man. I was wondering if they, if they made these eyelets black would have made a difference, or these. But yes, here it is. And these are tight. It's a Jordan 3 silhouette. T 
typical basic shoe. And I like it. It's either you like it or you don't. So I've done a you know a nine and a half compared to a twelve before. So we're gonna look at some differences. We're gonna take a look at it. See what's up. Well, all right. Let me go around on this. I really wish I had my own size to compare it to, but it still looks like the same uh, Jordan 3 mold that they use all the time. Um, look at that shoe tree. Definitely not updated. I'm going to bring my light over. Give me a minute. Just trying to do something different here. be a bit too bright do a little adjusting here my apologies I just take the insole out ah. so has the Jordan fragment logos Jordan fragment Jordan fragment and so looks pretty solid Inside here, this fragment there, and same thing going on here. Fragment. Mmm. Tag looks a bit different. Take a look at the stitching on the jump man. I mean, it'll pass. Doesn't look right. You got them thick legs again. Uh. One of the better ones, I guess. So I, I clean that jump man is leather quality. You can see it's a more tumbled look on a legit pair. This fake pair is not as tumbled. That cut line here is also a different. You can see there. The embossment of the fragment logo is more prominent on a legit pair. You see the fragment numbers? And of course, you can always tell the difference with the AirPod. Uh, let me know what you see. On, uh, on these kicks. Uh, they actually did the toe box pretty well in the stitching around it. Let's take a look here. Not bad. Not bad at all. And you have to also look around here for the stitching. You gotta understand what between, you know, legit pair and replica fake pairs. <clears throat> There's still consistencies with both. You know what I mean? There's going to be something consistent with these, and there's always going to be a consistent pattern with legit pair of shoes. And there's always that difference. So you also see this cut line. You can see, you know, how it's pretty sloppy with the cut, where the cut is pretty clean. Shoe tree. There you go. Molded sock liner. I'm going to pull out the insole on here, legit pair, fake pair, which is actually the fake pair is a bit thicker. It looks like it's a better quality actually. It might be different from size to size. Uh, while I'm here, I will read off the production date, 2-19-20, 6-28-20 is the real pair, 2-19-20, 6-4-20 is the 
big pair. As we get in here, positive need be. Getting a little too deep into this video. I will show the back, the back of the shoe and black light it. For all of you guys that complain left shoe, left shoe, right shoe, right shoe. So I'm gonna pull out the right shoe. Legit. You see they printed that wrong, right? See it's going in an angle. There's nothing here to see. It's just really good quality. He said he wanted it to be a basic shoe. He didn't want any, you know, flash to it. And he did, so. You see how they printed that straight. And this is the fake pair. So you're not going to get perfection from every shoe. And I wouldn't expect perfection out of every shoe. I've said my piece about these things plenty of times. No need to repeat myself or beat a dead horse on certain situations. So I'm going to go ahead and blacklight these things. But before I do that, let's take a look at the... Take a look at the AirPod here, right? I said, usually you can see with the AirPod, you see that? All the pits and stuff in there. This is the legit pair. Nice, clear, perfect. And usually, That'll be your sign right there. If you have a shoe with the AirPod, you'll definitely see, you'll know if you have a legit pair. All right. Enough of this. Let's bring out the black light. I don't think I need to turn anything off. Should be able to find everything. And it's usually the back end of the shoe is what you'll find wrong here. All right, let's go. Well, what do you have here? Okay, here. Actually, everything's look pretty good here, except for up here, right up here, there's a stitch line, or there's some, yeah, not a, it's not a stitch line, it's uh, something seeped through with some of that, you know, residue, ink, whatever that is, and you can see it there. see much wrong what I usually see on these and there is your boom we got the stampy stampy that'll let you know right there legit pair All right, same old, same old, not much. Just that little thing in the back. There's all the little residue down there. They're cleaning off. All right, uh, let me see if there's a stamp on this, uh, on this box. Um, there's no stamp. Just on the shoe. All right. There you have it, folks. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see what's going on inside. Let's see if we can find anything different on the inside before I end this. There's nothing going on in here. 
nothing going on in there. All right. We good. My advice on this shoe, if you have it, if you have multiple multiple pairs like I have, now hold, hold, hold. In a year, they'll probably be back to a grand or just wear them. That's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching. More real fake videos coming. I have some things coming. I have some reviews on a couple of fakes that I got coming in before the official release. So, and today's Lucky Green Day. Wapping all the energy or in lack of energy because the shoes weren't Ray Allen's. Now all of a sudden they're disappearing. Man, I tell you what, man, this so-called this pandemic thing is messing everything up, man. Because that's just the GR, and you should be should be able to walk in the store and pick them up. But no. You know, it's just messed everything up, man. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. It's your boy Jake. Peace out.